plainly conceive I love you. As my brother did love Juliet. And you tell me he shall die for it. He shall not, Isabel, if you give me love. This is the kind of pivotal scene of the whole play because we've been, we've been watching the progress of Isabella's campaign to uh, release her brother. Uh, she's had one interview with uh, Angelo and he has asked her to come back the following morning. So this is her coming back to see whether she's changed his mind. What she doesn't know and which we the audience do know is that Angelo confesses to us that he has, he has been really turned on by this nun and uh, he's become actually obsessed by her in that very short time. So as we watch the scene, we, um, we know, we're waiting for the penny to drop. We're waiting for Isabella to realize and for Angelo to articulate the fact that the deal's gonna be have sex with me and I, I, I pardon your, your brother. We are all frail. Else let my brother die. Nay, women are frail too. I. As the glasses where they view themselves, which are as easy broke as they make forms. Women, help heaven. Men their creation mar in profiting by them. Nay, call us ten times frail, for we are soft as our complexions are, and credulous to false prints. I think it well. And from this testimony of your own sex and... I suppose we are made to be no stronger than faults may shake our frames. Let me be bold. I do arrest your words. Be that you are. That is a woman. If you be more, you're none. If you be one, as you are well expressed by all external warrants, Show it now by putting on the destined livery. I have no time but one. Gentle my lord, let me entreat you. Speak the former language. Plainly conceive I love you. As my brother did love Juliet. And you tell me he shall die for it. He shall not, Isabel, if you give me love. I know your virtue hath a license in which seems a little fouler than it is to pluck on others. Believe me on mine honour, my words express my purpose. This honour to be much believed and most pernicious purpose. The line that sort of pinged out as being really not sitting well within that drive is plainly conceive I love you. The, the word love there doesn't, it, it, didn't, it didn't come from anywhere. I mean, it's plainly conceive I... I lust after you. If you're playing it that strong from before, plainly conceive I love you doesn't, it's not saying that. But then if you play it, if you play that whole scene like he, like he just loves, like he just does love her, like sort of Romeo loves Juliet, then it doesn't, I think there's a, then, then I don't think the, the, there's, a, there's a lack of threat to, to, for Isabella to respond to. In, in such a powerful way that she does when she finally goes, I see what you are and what you're trying to do. Seeming, seeming, I will proclaim thee, Angelo, look for it. Sign me a present pardon for my brother or with an outstretched throat, I'll tell the world aloud what man thou art. Who believe thee, Isabel? You know, if, if Isabella suspects that early and his motives are as clear to her that early, <laughs> how there's only really one route to go, which is, which is violence, isn't, isn't mm. it? It felt to be there. Yes, and you don't hear, I don't, you don't hear the words as clearly, yeah. do you? And, yeah. what, and how they skewer her. Yes. It becomes about the physical violence yes. of it. Um, really. Chasing around the table. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the great, there is great tension in it, and, yeah. then, and there's, yeah. uh, there's, it's very dramatic, but in a way, it's less nuanced, I suppose, and maybe less tense. Yeah. She's still living in this hopeful 
uh, expectation that something might change. I think she's sort of uncertain where these, these hypothetical debates are going. And she's definitely not reading <laughs> what Angelo is uh, trying to imply. Um, and then this sort of slow, I don't know, it's like a slow tsunami. I always think of it, it comes over her as she sorts of, she doesn't see the monster coming. It's sort of quiet and um, un unclear, I think, for her, because her mind is still wrestling with these hypothetical debates. And then once she realises, she's absolutely horrified. And I think perhaps the tension derives from the slowness with which the penny drops, which builds up his appetite or his the sense that the opportunity is is maybe going to mm. produce good results. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe then <clears throat> it would be worth holding it right back as far as we possibly can so that the crossroads of declaring love, which is very vulnerable for him yeah. to do, yes. yeah. um, and her unwillingness even at that point that she does give him the benefit of the doubt as far as she possibly can until the moment when it is utterly clear that that is his intention. Yeah. We're all frail. Else let my brother die. Nay, women are frail too. Aye, as the glasses where they view themselves which are as easy broke as they make forms, women help heaven. Men, their creation mar in profiting by them. Nay, call us ten times frail, for we are soft, as our complexions are, and credulous to false prints. I think it will. And from this testimony of your own sex, since, I suppose, we are made to be no stronger than faults may shake our frames. Let me be bold. I do arrest your words. Be that you are, that is a woman. If you be more, you're none. If you be one, as you are well expressed, by all external warrants. Show it now by putting on the destined livery. I have no tongue but one. Gentle, my lord, let me entreat you, speak the former language. Plainly conceive I love you. As my brother did love Juliet. And you tell me he shall die for it. He shall not, Isabel, if you give me love. I know your virtue hath a license in which seems a little fouler than it is to pluck on others. Believe me, on mine honour, my words express my purpose. Huh? Little honour to be much believed and most pernicious purpose. She then has a little epiphany. She decides um, that she will expose him and that if he doesn't sign a pardon for, uh, uh, for Claudio, here and now, she is going to tell everybody what kind of man he is and what he's done. And the real crux, the real turning point is a shared line between the two characters, which means that he immediately picks up his cue. He, he needs no time to think about it. And he says, who will believe thee, Isabel? Seeming, seeming, I will proclaim me, Angelo, look for it. Sign me a present pardon for my brother or with an outstretched throat, I'll tell the world aloud what man thou art. Who will believe thee, Isabel? That felt to me much, had much more tension in it, and I found myself listening to it more because I was hanging on every word as opposed to distracted by mm -hmm. the sort of violence of the action. Yeah. And it, it felt really 
attempts to try and discover when it was that, that Isabella was yeah. going to realise what his intentions were. But also, oddly, kind of sad in a way, that mm. he was hoping that this was going to work. And we sort of, we never really for a moment think she's remotely going to yield in your direction, but you continue to believe that she is. Yeah.